Hey y'all, Jeremy James here, the original Bourbon Realtor, coming at you from Bar Stools and Bourbon. This week, we're gonna take a look at Michter's limited release, Barrel Strength Kentucky Straight Bourbon. All right, y'all, for this week's um, review, we're looking at Michter's limited release barrel strength Kentucky straight bourbon. This one is coming in at 112 proof, 56% um, alcohol by volume, and looks like Michter's barrel number, so this is a single barrel. Um, Michter's, Michter's barrel number J, or excuse me, 21J2897. Any barrel number geeks out there, write down below what year that was bottled or, or excuse me what year that was barreled and let's find out how old this thing is um i picked this up this summer was glad to be able to get it it's my first one i love the michter's line overall um i like their toasted which i think we've got back here on the bar yep so we've got their toasted back here i've got their rye um i've got their sour mash and i've got two of their bourbons and absolutely love the michter's line for me um, I know a lot of folks love to go after Buffalo Trace, and that's a decent bourbon, but I tell you, um, if you can't find standard Buffalo Trace and you're looking for it, and you come across the Michters, get the Michters, and honestly, I would get the Michters instead. Um, I just think it's um, a little bit more worth your money. But let's go ahead and get this thing poured out. Oh, good, nice, healthy pop. This is the first pour on this bottle. Straight away, looking at the color on this, it is a nice dark. We're even getting beyond amber at this point. We're getting brownish notes um, in the coloration on this. It looks nice and thick in the glass, really oily on the sides. Let's me know that probably going to be dealing with a nice viscous bourbon here. And for 112, this thing is just coating the glass. Loving this color. This color is something we might look for um, basically at like a, a double oak or something like that. And it's not. This is single. But it's nice and rich, dark color. This is a beauty in the glass. All right, let's go to the nose. Very little alcohol at all on the nose. At 112, I wouldn't expect too much. But I'm getting um, toasted brown sugars. A lot of those sweet kind of vanilla notes. There's some leather in there. I got a little bit of apricot on the nose, some dried apricot. And there's just a lot of big, rich oaks. It's a little bit of nuttiness too. Almost like pecans, 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 whatever. I don't know, fight about it in the comments. Nice, complex nose, really easy to nose. Nothing pushing me out of the glass. Just a nice, rich bouquet, as they might say with wine. Very nice. All right, I'm looking forward to dipping into this because this smells great. I hope it, I hope it translates. Wow. Simply wow. That is an adventure in the mouth. It drops in and it's got like a molasses type flavor. Um, nice, deep, dark, rich sorghum sugars. Big, bold in the mouth. 
oh my god that nose is coming around now those big rich sugars in the oaks it's like not Werther's but really rich toffee Very light pepper, just big, rich sorghum sugars, a big, bold, oaky finish, beautifully viscous in the mouth. I mean, just not waxy, but nice, big, thick, and oily. Wow, that's really perverted. This is insane. Y'all, seriously... At 112, this drinks like a one, not proof wise, but complexity and density wise, this drinks like a 120 to 125. It drinks like a double bar like a double barrel, like a double oak. It's got that richness, the complexity, but it's classic Michter's bourbon. Um, those big rich sugars, maybe some dark raisins in there for fruit notes, that sweetness. But then it's all backed up with a ton of, of nice rich oak. All right, I don't think it's going to be any surprise where I land on my buy bar pass. Um, this is a buy all day, every day. You find it at retail and it's sitting there in front of you. You snag it in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. Pick it up. Coca-Cola. That's what it is. I'm getting Coca-Cola notes. It's like, it is, it's like Coca-Cola. It's so good. It's so rich. Beautiful complexity. I'm going to guess, gosh, I would guess probably somewhere from 7 to 10 year old. I would pick this up before I picked up a Stag Junior. I know the, heat, the, the heretics are going to be, or the, <laughs> the faithful are going to be calling me a heretic for that one. That's a buy every day, all day. Simply excellent. Um, of course, Michter's fits my palate, and I really enjoy it. But this, this is going to be a favorite, and anytime I see it at retail, I'm going to grab it. I would probably pay a little bit over retail. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a secondary guy, but that is that good of a bourbon. All right, y'all, I'm Jeremy James. The original bourbon realtor. This is Barstools and Bourbon. See y'all next time.